All right, so we're doing 7.1, graphing ordered pairs. So the first part is I want to have this all in your notes so that you can re reference back to it because a lot of the questions on the assignment in class tomorrow will come right off of this piece right here. So we call the center point the origin, 0, 0. Then remember that this is your x-axis, this is your y-axis. We have four quadrants. This is quadrant, the first quadrant, this is the second quadrant, this is the third quadrant, and this is the fourth quadrant. First quadrant, your x is positive, your y is positive. Second quadrant, your x is negative, and your y is positive. Third quadrant, they're both negative. And fourth quadrant, the x is positive, and the y is negative. All right, <clears throat> so now we're going to graph some points. And we're looking at, I've done the first one here, graph 4, 2. So remember, the first number is your x, so it goes left and right. You move over 4, up 2, and you always put the point next to it so it's labeled. So if we do negative 3, 4, x first, that means we go to the left, 3, and up 4. And we label it negative 3, 4. On this one, negative 2, negative 5, that means you go over 2, down 5, make your point, and label it. And then 3, negative 2, positive, x, you move over 3, down 2, and you have the point 3, negative 2. Okay, now we're going to move on to oops, graphing equations, which is actually 7.2. So this, lev lev this lesson covers 7.2 graphing equations and 7.1 graphing ordered pairs. So the first question we have is determine if 3, 7 is a solution for y equals 2x plus 1. So we're going to rewrite the equation y equals 2x plus 1 and we're going to substitute. So we're going to say what if x is 3, 2 times 3 does y equal 7? So 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1, we get 7 equals 7. So the answer is yes, it works. So we'll do another one like that. So for the second one, determine if 2, 3 is the solution for y equals 2x plus 3. We're seeing if it's one of the possible solutions. So the y is 3. The x is 2, so we're looking at 2 times 2 is 4 plus 3. So the question is, does 3 equal 7? And the answer would be no. So this point is not a solution. Where this one worked, it is a solution. This one doesn't work, it's not a solution. Okay. Find three solutions. So now we've got a problem and they want us to come up with solutions that work. We're going to make a t-chart and I know that you've seen a t-chart before, the x and y chart. And what you're going to do is you're going to pick three numbers for x. Any three numbers you're comfortable with and right now I'm going to give you those three, later you can pick your own. x I'm going to make 0, 1, and 2. So we're going to come over here, y minus 2 times 0. We want to know what happens when the x is 0. We get y minus 0 equals 3. So if the y, x was 0, the y is 3. Now what happens if I make the x 1? So I start with the original equation, and in the x position I put a 1. 1. 1 times 2 is 2. Now we're solving equations, opposite operations, minus 2. We're going to add 2. This is a 0. So we get y equals 5. And the last one, what happens if the x is 2? Then y minus 2 times the x. y minus 4 equals 3 opposite operations, add 4, we want the y by itself, this gives us a 0, 
we get y equals 7. So we have now found three solutions for that problem. They're right here. All right, let's do another one like that. Okay. There we go. So again, we're doing three solutions. So I'm going to just copy the problem over here. I'm going to make my t-chart x, y. Right now, I'm giving you the 0, the 1, and the 2. You might find other ones later that you like. So what happens when x is 0? 3 times 0. y equals 0 minus 2. Make sure you get that that's a minus, a negative 2. So if x is 0, y is negative 2. Now we move on to what if it's 1? 3 times 1 minus 2. So again, we're going back to the original problem. Sorry about that. Going back to the original problem, and we're adding the 1 in for x. So we get 3 minus 2, y is 1. All right, our last part here, and I'm going to fit that right here. What happens if the x is 2? So 2 times 3 is 6 minus 2, y equals 4. So again, we now have three solutions for that problem. Now the next question says graph this. And I've even made my t-chart ahead of time because I was given the points I need to find. So again, we're going to fill this out, but we're going to end up with an actual graph. So I'm going to make a graph so I make sure I have enough room to put my, my points on my graph. And then I'm going to work my problem. So my first one is what is it? is it what is y if x is 0 so I'm gonna put that over here y minus 0 equals 1 so y equals 1 and I go back and put that in what happens if the x is negative 1 be really careful with this because it's it's y minus x equals 1 so if I'm putting the x in there y minus x which was negative 1 a minus minus is a plus and now we do the opposite operation, y equals 0. So if x is negative 1, y is 0. What happens if x is negative 5? So again, y minus the x, and the x is negative 5. A minus minus is a plus. Subtract the 5 from both sides. This is a 0, y equals negative 4. So over here, I add it into my chart. What happens if x is 1? The equation was y minus x equals 1. So if I change the x to a 1, I'm going to add the 1 doing the opposite operations. This is a 0, y equals 2. Last one, what if x is 3? y minus the x. y minus 3 equals the 1. Remember, that's what the equation was, y minus x equals 1. So if I add 3 to both sides, y equals 4. Now we're going to graph this. All right, so now we're going to graph that. So we have our points x is 0, y is 1, 0, 1, negative 1, 0, negative 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, and then 3, 4. And then I either need to use a ruler or a straight edge that's solid to draw that line. Make sure you're putting the arrows on both ends because it goes on forever. It never stops.